is up guys welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be continuing on with our you know with our journey of the make you know of learning how to develop for apple platforms by learning appkit now what is appkit well appkit is apple's framework for building mac os apps this is a graphical user interface event driven framework so you can have buttons, sliders, uh, drop down menus, windows, uh, all kinds of stuff. So AppKit can do all of that. So every app that you, you know, that you use on the Mac in some way, shape or form uses this framework. Even apps built in Swift UI on the Mac, which is many apps by this point, um, they still use AppKit under the uh, under the hood behind the scenes of SwiftUI because uh, you know the Mac controls in SwiftUI are based upon they're built upon the Mac OS uh, AppKit components. Right. And you still have to reach down to AppKit for certain things uh, and all that kind of stuff. So AppKit does a lot. It's been around for a very long time. It has been around since before the Mac even. Uh, AppKit was originally developed by Next Computer. Uh, a company that Steve Jobs founded after he left Apple, uh, and it and back then it was called Application Kit. Uh, but uh, when when uh, Jobs came back to Apple, he brought uh, the Next stuff with him because Apple had bought Next by that point, and so AppKit became an Apple technology. As, as well as the original language that was used to write AppKit code for for forever since the beginning of the framework, uh, Objective C. Of course, in this uh, video, we're not going to be using object rather this series. We're not going to be using Objective C. Uh, we're going to use Swift instead because Swift is a much more modern language and it's much more pleasant to work with. Um, so. So yeah, really, that's kind of what AppKit is. Now, I'm not going to show you how to set up a macOS project in Xcode because I expect that you know how to do that at a minimum. All right. So uh, you, you have to know how to, you know, he, he, so I guess that brings us right into what I expect. First thing is I expect you to, to know Swift. Uh, even you know, even at a basic level, you have you know you have to be able to write Swift code. First off, second, you have to know how to create a new project for a Mac OS app in Xcode. It's not, it's not difficult, right? And three, I expect you to leave the basic template alone. Don't do anything with it when you create your new project. Um, because we're going to talk about, in, in the next video, we're going to talk about how this project is actually set up and how this series is going to work. Because if you're familiar, uh, I have an iOS development series going on on my channel as well. And in that series, we're doing fully programmatic UI and we have to do some configuration. That's not going to be the same here. And I'll explain why in, in another video, but really that that about does it for the requirements that I expect um, my final thing for you is that uh, it is kind of a warning and that warning is I am personally using the Mac OS 15 or Mac OS Sequoia developer beta and I will be using Xcode 16 beta but you can do this on uh, Mac OS 14 uh, or Mac OS Sonoma as well. Uh, a lot of this stuff will work 
in previous macOS versions, but I expect that you'll be able to. Uh, I expect that with a, with a little bit of guidance, you should you know you should read the documentation to see what is available that we're using on what versions of macOS. A lot of it is available on any version. Some of it will not be, and I'll try to give you a heads up. Uh, when that is the case, but if there are any, if anything funky happens over the course of this series, it's probably because I'm running the beta, right? The developer beta, public beta, whatever the case might be at, at any given point uh, of both Mac OS and Xcode. So that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you all so very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.